How's it going guys? It's Richard and it's my third in my episode of my Road to Max Cape. Again this week, not really much in the way of levels gained. I've only actually got one level for you live today, unfortunately, but uh, I got a few sort of saved up clips. Obviously once again I forgot to get my recorder out. The first one you're seeing right here is my Slayer. I found Slayer to be a hell of a lot quicker since the update and uh, you can also see me failing using a, a multi-target attack and accidentally engaging like three iron dragons but with super anti fire you just don't take any damage there you go that's 77 slayer i know it's kind of a low skill but you know it's uh hmm, i'm not that great at it in general I'd, I, I actually really enjoy it as a skill but just don't seem to end up doing it that much anyway on to the next level which is my rune crafting rune crafting is something i've been doing quite a lot lately because i, I kind of like to get to 99 to do armadil runes and then recently i've seen quite how bad armadil runes have become for money which is a bit of a shame really but it's still something that's kind of nice to have a high level. It's uh, I think it's my second highest level actually after my 99 in magic. So that kind of gives you a scale of how far we are off the max cape. But I believe it's uh, it's under well it's ju sorry just over 300 level. This one here unfortunately is a still image because I've just been a massive noob. Forgot to get my recorder out. But it's just me getting a defense level. Been getting quite a few combat level. Well combat XP in general really with the evolution of combat. Been testing out a lot of things. Next up. Is dungeoneering. Obviously, we're doing quite a fair amount of dungeoneering since the EOC, so I could test out how quick it is and everything. Obviously, as people know, it's considerably quicker with that XP boost as well. Uh, also, trying to get myself my Chaotix. I still haven't decided entirely which one I want to buy next, whether I want to buy a shield or whether I want to buy like a Chaotic crossbow. But in future, I guess we'll see what I end up buying. Anyway, that's it for the recorded levels. Next, we're just going to be moving straight on into the live game. So here I am in the live game and unfortunately I can't complete my daily challenges without gaining a level in agility and I wanted to get at least one level live on video so I thought I might as well just hand this in right now, get the level and then I'll power through the laps and then we'll go get our daily challenges, do things like Tears of Guthix and get a nice chunk of daily XP. So let's go and get ourselves the level. Talk to this guy, 3k XP and 83 agility! only 16 more levels of the most painful skill ever ever created it's probably gonna be my last ever skill I can imagine anyway I'm gonna power through these laps now and then we'll get back on to the live video right so I've actually I've got and completed all my daily challenges now just open up the notice board and we can see that I've got all five of them completed so I'm actually gonna go and set myself a second XP counter so that we can see how much XP we gain I know last week we did this as well, but it wasn't actually that much XP, but I'm also going to add in the Tears of Guthix XP we get. So if we turn all the challenges, I saw an extra option there. Toggle production progress, what does that mean? You have the production... I honestly have no idea what that means, I might look that up in the future. Anyway, let's uh, spam through all of these, how much XP we get. Herblore, runes crafting, fishing, and my jelly win I swear that it missed out something though ah I believe I got a lamp yep a challenge lamp I'm not entirely sure what I want to use this in I'm probably just going to use it in range because it's my lowest level so yeah let's just put it in range 14k range XP and let's see how much money we got 13 magic logs that's not particularly amazing and 2.7k which adds up quite nicely with a 27 no 23k I got earlier today from doing the new quest which is kind of cool and obviously as usual we're going to whack out the spins if it opens <laughs> you'd think that'd be the one thing they make sure works perfectly wouldn't you the squeal of fortune rubies wow i suppose they've, they have genuinely made this wor worse money teak planks small lamp mining that's not too bad mine is actually a spill that, skill that i'm not massively a fan of and gold yeah, you never really, never get anything decent from these anymore. Anyway, on one, one point, uh, sorry, 106k XP at the moment. That's not too bad. We've got ourselves a little bit of money. But I think what we will do next... I mean, sorry, there hasn't really been that much in the way of live stuff today. I honestly just haven't had that much chance. But I believe I've got a games necklace hanging around somewhere so we can teleport and do Tears of Guthix. I did have a games necklace unless I got rid of it. Nope. I clearly just had it hidden away with one that's got exactly the same number of charges on it. Alright, Tears of Gothic using the awesome interface that is like definitely it's so much nicer now that we've got that new interface. Makes a huge improvement. We can get rid of this spanner as well, no one ever uses that. Drop spanner. I hope I hope I'm actually coming on the right day to do this. 
Tell stories of the adventure, yeah. Thank you. Right, so basically as always I will do my tears of gothics, fast forward through it. So here we are, literally just finished doing the caves. Let's come out and see how much we get. Should be a nice amount, yeah, 52k. I feel like I actually did better than usual for once because I normally end up like getting like barely any tears but obviously as more quests are released I get more and more quest points so I get more time in the cave which is kinda cool um, this week as I really, haven't really done that much live I decided I might hand in my penguin points quickly because I, I really just I've been pointing out random penguins every so often and I really just haven't ever handed them in I, I guess maybe I've got like 10 or something penguin points I can't imagine I've got many but you know points are points so let's hand it in and see what we've got I have actually unlocked the ability to find out that hidden one, but I just I really can't be bothered to actually go penguin hunting. I never get round to it. Maybe I'll make a change and actually like do it this week. I've already found one at uh, the Wizard's Tower. If anyone sort of wanted to find one, that was on World One Three Nine, I believe, that's at the Wizard's Tower. If you're interested in one location of a penguin, but let's just go to is it Chuck, the the polar bear, the random polar bear that gives you your penguin points. It's around here somewhere. Guys, it shows how long it's been since the final season. He's there, isn't he? Yeah, just checking. Alright, I want to claim my reward. Nine penguin points. Well, that's pretty poor. Anyway, um, <laughs> never want to accidentally click the money reward. Um, what do I want to use it in? I've actually got a few things that. For HP. Oh, yeah, HP is one thing that I'll definitely be getting throughout the next week before my next episode when I've got my daily challenges. I'll just use it in agility because that's the one everyone hates. Confirm. 18k, that's not too bad. Hopefully next week we'll have a bunch more penguin points, so that should be interesting. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I hope to see you in the next video uh, where we'll probably have more in the way of live things. I just haven't really prepared with all the like evolution of combat things and everything, so it's more just been sort of pre-gained level, so to speak. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.